phenomenal. Savory, sweet, beautiful, beautiful. Savory, beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait to do all that. I wanted to start this year off with a mukbang uh, in the van camper. I don't have time to do a whole 24 hour thing. So I thought we'd celebrate by just eating a lot of food. Ken Domic is 55 and a half years old. And he's still treating his body like an animated garbage can. And it shows. And so for 2022, Ken is going to continue to be well, he said it himself. He's addicted to fast food. It's as a few of you have already kind of pointed out, I am addicted to fast food. It's not like an addiction, like an addiction to heroin or something like that. You can break off the addiction pretty easily. It's just a choice to be lazy and stupid. And if you don't have any real work to do, and you can actually get paid to eat chicken sandwiches all day, it's a pretty strong temptation to give into. And you said, there's nothing new from Ken in 2022. He's just going to keep on eating bad junk food and pretending that he's on an intermittent fast all the time, which he is not. And uh, enjoying it with you guys. Drink, drink, drink. Donate. E-beggar. Drink. Booze hound. Drink, drink, drink. Donate. E-beggar. Drink. Booze hound. Drink, drink, drink. Donate. E-beggar. Drink. Uh, happy birthday. Booze hound. Hack. E beggar. Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Donate. E beggar. Gravy train. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a food channel that's running out of ideas. In the meantime, let's watch some TikTok. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm a TikTok white Canadian. I'm a TikTok white. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian white guy. Hitler flap. Thank you very much. White guy. Because I'm white. So the Japanese are horrible people. If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Ah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna ride this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> <laughs> If I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British peanut. <laughs> I'm very uneducated. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. Mmm. Tangy. 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 I'm insane. Double, a double. Hi, can I get a medium Pepsi, please? Sorry? Medium Pepsi. There's a sign. There's a sign. There's a sign here saying turtles. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh no. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the wrapper. I know, I know. I want people okay, to see okay, it. Yeah. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So, I think we could have, no? Mm-hmm. It would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. The Chinese are horrible, so the Japanese are horrible people. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Beautiful, 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 beautiful looking lunch. You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. How, how else to fix this? 
You really gotta stop that. You really need to stop that. <laughs> this is the dumpster that we, your mom and I found you in. Your real name was gonna be called Waste Management. <laughs> yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Try the Thai bites, uh, the shrimp ones. So the shrimp are actually out of stock. Okay, chicken. Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, okay. So I'm sure the chicken ones are great. Yes. So we'll do that, and then uh, medium spicy pierogi pizza, and for dessert we'll do that chocolate explosion. Pepsi, please. Pepsi? No, I'm not gonna buy Pepsi. I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's that's for losers. I mean that, sugary drinks, you don't need them, you get off them. Green tea, un unsweet. Unless you're under the age of 50, then I would say it's okay to drink sugary drinks. Over 50, nah, you can't mess with that stuff. I didn't bring a water, but I forgot, so I had to grab a Pepsi. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. Happy New Year, everybody. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys had an amazing 2021 year last year. I try to give you as much content as I could. Yeah, I can. It was awesome. You ate chicken sandwiches over and 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 said they were all I go out and get it now. It was great. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, and all that kind of awesome stuff. Uh, 2022 is going to be even more boring because we already know what to expect. Like, what are you going to bring us after you gave up on your own channel yourself years ago? Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. More chicken sandwiches washed down with Pepsi. Everything's going to be tangy and savory. Um, let's see, more stupid sex jokes. Beautiful golden bottom. Ooh la la. Um, are you going to do another uh, can of boiled peanuts and call it a food adventure while you're half asleep doing the talking? Uh, I don't know, oh, Rusty. How about uh, Rusty and, and using it as an ongoing excuse to get idiots to send you money. Meanwhile, you got the $70,000 Volkswagen ass sitting in the driveway, which looks too rich for you to do your fake camping things with. Is that it? Are you going to tell us more about that stupid prop car of yours? Better. We got Rusty here, the van camper, up to 100% right now. That is correct. Right now. Of course, somewhere down the line, we can expect that probably Rusty's going to need a repair. And then you're going to go on live stream and say, People, Rusty needs some help, people. We, we need some help. And uh, it's going to be a repair, so we need the donations. But Rusty uh, needs help. We need those donations. We need those donations now. And, and, and please donate. And, and, and if you donate enough, I'll take a shot of tequila while taking your money in. And then your fans who believe you when you say that you're barely getting by will say, We'll help, Ken! Where do we send the money to help you with Rusty? Oh, you won't be able to do it without us and our money! You got the money! Is that right, Ken, with Rusty like that? Everything's working on it perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stealth camping. So that means more of the same garbage of you pretending to be a real stealth camper. And those words, stealth camping, should never leave your mouth as you pretend to be doing that. Because it's popular and you chase trends. You don't create any yourself. You just chase them. Ken Domic is really just somebody who should be making cat videos. It didn't work. And later on with uh, this reaction, Ken will show us that he still, after all these years, doesn't know the difference between sour cream and whipped cream. And so there's going to be more of you pretending to be a stealth camper. How boring and stupid. More of the same. 
24 hours uh, stealth camping uh, and camping in other uh, locations. Uh, we're going to be hanging out uh, in plazas. Wow. More footage of Ken Dominic rolling himself up in a sleeping bag in ugly strip malls with drone footage. I can't wait. And, and note what he says next. He, he, he was going to say he's going to be doing it in Toronto, and he stopped himself. He was like, in to and he stopped. Then he said, in Toronto, and around it. <laughs> it's too much work for him to drive, you know, like an hour in, into the big city and do that. And, and to even, even hang around for like a couple hours late at night in Toronto, forget it. So he cut himself off there because, you know, he, he's going to consider anything that isn't quite Toronto to be Toronto. <laughs> and he leaves it in. He leaves it in. Because his audience doesn't get any of these things. All the smart people here, we get it. So go on, Ken. And in Toronto. No, not Toronto. Do it. Do it, Ken, please. Uh, in, in and around Toronto and stretching out across the country. Uh, we're also going to be doing some plane traveling. Ken Domic published that footage on January 4th, 2022, and today, January 5th, 2022, I am working on and will publish the reaction to what he offered there. And he refers to the COVID pandemic as the craziness that's going on in the world today, and he does not take it seriously. He exploits it. Um, I haven't done a reaction to it. There was a tornado that went through Barrie, my city. And Ken is not in the city, he's about 20 minutes away, and the tornado didn't hit the, the elf village, and he pretended that it did. And early on with COVID, he pretended that he was being isolated, and then he would leave the house the next day and do another isolation. He just exploits everything for a buck. And I'm not saying he has COVID, I'm not saying he's spreading it. What I'm saying is that stupid people are keeping it active. And he's one of them. My previous video has Ken accidentally spitting into holiday cards he then gave away to fast food workers like minutes and like about an hour later total. I don't know who, who got what the fastest. He just accidentally spit into the cards. And that's the video that I made. And because it focused on him spitting, it got hit with a fetish uh, classification by YouTube. So it's right off the algorithm. Uh, you can go and, and, and check it. It's still on my channel. It's just, it's not getting any promotion at all. And here is what it looks like for today, January 5th, 2022. If you do a search for COVID Ontario, Canada. Those are the results for January 5th, 2022. And it, it's stupid people that keep it going. So Ken's going to have some plane travel. Why? So we can go eat a chicken sandwich in another province? Nobody needs that. He can go to Toronto. There are so many places to do food adventures, it's not even funny. So if he gets into more plane travel in the middle of this pandemic, shame on him. Because it's not necessary. And like, he's one of those people that doesn't even try to hide it. It's like, it's like with this rusty nonsense. It's like we all know he's got like a, a, a $70,000 SUV and it just doesn't fit the part. So he, he's got money to burn. He goes against this heap and then he appeals to his audience to give him ongoing money to keep the thing fixed. It's a scam. It, his, his new vehicle just looks too rich. So he doesn't try to hide it. And he's telling you, right in the middle of this pandemic, I'm going to go do some plane travel. Shame on Ken Domic. It's the stupid people such as him which keep this pandemic happening. There's no reason for him to indulge in plane travel so he can eat a chicken sandwich someplace else. What an irresponsible idiot. Stuff. So... I can't wait to do all that. I wanted to start this year off with a mukbang uh, in the van camper. I don't have time to do a whole 24 hour thing. So I thought we'd celebrate by just eating a lot of food. Ken Domic is 55 and a half years old. And he's still treating his body like an animated garbage can. And it shows. And so for 2022, Ken is going to continue to be 
Well, he said it himself. He's addicted to fast food. It's... As a few of you have already kind of pointed out, I am addicted to fast food. It's not like an addiction, like an addiction to heroin or something like that. You can break off the addiction pretty easily. It's just a choice to be lazy and stupid. And if you don't have any real work to do, and you can actually get paid to eat chicken sandwiches all day, it's a pretty strong temptation to give into. And you said there's nothing new from Ken in 2022. He's just going to keep on eating bad junk food and pretending that he's on an intermittent fast all the time, which he is not. And uh, enjoying it with you guys. So we are here in the very, very cold. How is it funny? The very, very cold town of Bradford. How is it funny? Like the people there are struggling with some cold weather, and 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 they 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 they, they walk through it and they go. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> They're trying to get their car going. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's cold. <laughs> Make it make sense. Old town of Bradford, Ontario, at this Boston Pizza. Do you notice something? There is nobody there. There's one car next to the restaurant. That's for the few people who are inside working. Ken can run the bouncy music all he wants to. It's actually ghost town scary. And I'm going to run it all the way through. Then, because I'm a genius, I'm going to run it through a second time with scary music for what is really happening. Hello. Let's go. Try the Thai bites, uh, the shrimp ones. So the shrimp are actually out of stock. Okay, chicken. Yes. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. That's all right. They've been out of stock for a few weeks now. I haven't been able to get them. Uh, okay. So I'm sure the chicken ones are great. Yes. So we'll do that, and then uh, medium spicy pierogi yes. pizza, and for dessert we'll do that chocolate, chocolate explosion. explosion? Yeah. Pepsi, please. Pepsi? No, I'm not gonna buy Pepsi. I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's that's for losers. I mean that, sugary drinks, you don't need them, you get off them. Green tea, un unsweet. Unless you're under the age of 50, then I would say it's okay to drink sugary drinks. Over 50, nah, you can't mess with that stuff. I didn't bring a water, but I forgot, so 
had to grab a Pepsi. Pepsi, no, I'm not gonna buy Pepsi. I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's that's for losers. I mean that, sugary drinks. You don't need them. You get off them. Green tea, un unsweet. Unless you're under the age of 50, then I would say it's okay to drink sugary drinks. Over 50, nah, you can't mess with that stuff. And she's gonna bring it out to us. So let's move the van so she's gonna walk, walk across the parking lot. I'll park in spot number one. That way we can kind of see her when she, when she comes out. All right, guys, we are parked. For 2022, Ken Domic is pushing things forward by going backwards again and bringing back these stupid, annoying wipes. They're very amateurish and they come with a That's our Ken. Always going backwards and saying that he's going forwards. Yeah. That next collab with JP and Julia is going to happen any day now. Since I don't have to get out of the car again, I take my jacket off, get a little more comfortable. We're gonna we're gonna move the car out of the uh, the curbside pickup parking spot. Like, did he really just say that? We're gonna move the car out of the curbside pickup parking spot while shooting footage of the building. What kind of content is this? Yeah, like, 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 what's next? I'm gonna adjust my pants. I'm putting the keys in my pocket. I'm brushing some crumbs off the seat. Because we are in parking spot number one, there's two spots. And uh, there are people inside eating. Uh, our government here in Ontario, Canada, has just passed the newest craziness that's going on in the world. And uh, you're not gonna be able to eat inside or it's down to like 50% capacity. They're shutting down all like events and libraries and, and museums and and uh, it's just another crazy uh, time to be. Ken is laughing at it because he doesn't take it seriously. It's just, well, plus he's a really mean person too. We remember the footage when he was laughing at the person being taken out of uh, the health food store in Barrie on a stretcher and he was making some dumb joke that there's nobody coming out of a stretcher on the smokes poutine if there's somebody coming out of the on the health food place <laughs> so people dying from covid ken thinks it's funny because even though he's 55 and a half years old he has the intellectual strength of a 12 year old he thinks it's like a, a snow day and he doesn't have to go to school that's really how he thinks about it. And he's, he's been just eating chicken sandwiches for an income for so many years. He's turned back to a child. Uh, living on Earth. Oh, thank you very, very I much. I'll put it in the bag there for you as well. Okay, thank you. You too, bye. Where is your mask, Ken? Where is your mask? Gotta have a mask, people. Gotta have a mask. Like, we know, Ken, that you watch all these videos. So, let me tell you something. Don't talk about, quote, the craziness in the world going on today, close quote, because you don't have any intelligence to speak to it. Stick to what you know. The Toronto Maple Leafs are still playing. So why don't you talk about the latest game and how much you loved it and all of the, the plays that were really amazing and stuff like that. Because you don't even care about the Toronto Maple Leafs, all right? You're a hack. So why don't you just put a donut in your mouth and make another dumb sex joke? Don't talk about... The pandemic. Just get another long French fry. Say, look at the size of that. Ooh la la. Stick with that. So let's start off this mukbang. What you are about to do is not a mukbang. Ken has so little interest in what he does, the different styles or genres, if you want to say, in the food game. And a mukbang, like, people who don't have channels know what they are. You set up properly. <laughs> and 
and you pretend like you're sitting down in front of the camera, you're going to have a meal, and you chat a little bit. And it's like you're talking to the person when you're doing it. And you don't break it up with 52 fucking edits, which is what you're about to do. You're not doing a mukbang. You have no understanding of your own job. That's what a hack is. And uh, just start talking to you guys about why I love this restaurant so much. Their pizza is phenomenal. This is Ken Domic, 2022. He has nothing to say, and he hasn't had anything to say for years. Their pizza is phenomenal. He's in the shack in the Elf Village thinking to himself, what do I do to up my game? How do I take it to the next level? I know, I'll go back to using those wipes. Remember when he always used to steal the trademarks of whosoever's food he was eating? And you'd have uh, Burger King and KFC going back and forth? And we let him have it on that. And we contacted the companies and now, there's nothing there. He doesn't do it anymore. So the story goes, whenever uh, one of my buddies would have their birthday, I'd take them to Boston Pizza for dinner and then to a movie. And uh, I love Boston Pizza Pizza. And we'd have a couple beers. Do not pay any attention to the patter about going to the movies and having a couple beers. This is just another Ken Domic folksy story with which he's trying to get some sort of sponsorship out of Boston Pizza. Like I said before, this is not a real mukbang. It's just Ken making a pig of himself in the car because he can do so. And while he does so, he's kissing up the boss and pizza and hoping that they give him some sort of sponsorship. He's not doing this for his audience. He's doing it for himself, which is another reason why it's so boring. We just have our pizza, then walk over to the movie theater. So down in Newmarket, there's a Boston pizza and a movie theater. Uh, up now, there's a new uh, Boston pizza. <laughs> So that is, oh, this is our whipped cream for our cake. Oh my gosh. Every time my wife comes with me uh, for my birthday, because I enjoy my birthday celebrated here at uh, Pasta Pizza too. Wow. And the crust is beautiful. Boston Pizza has expensive pizza, but it is so worth it. Nice chunk of savory bacon. And for those of you guys who don't know, Boston Pizza is a chain of restaurants right across Canada, coast to coast. Pretty much every single city and a lot of towns have a Boston Pizza. So if you visit up in Canada, when you're allowed to visit one day, drop by a Boston Pizza and enjoy some good food. See, I don't drink any sugary drinks. That's, that's for losers. State, 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 state. Stop that. You really need to stop that. State, state. On top, 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 on top. That's for losers. That's for losers. That's for losers. That's for losers. We got a chocolate sauce, we got a whipped cream. Once again, guys, I screwed up. That is the sour cream that was supposed to go with the pizza. It looked like whipped cream and it was with all the other stuff. Ken should have scrapped the whole video and started over the next day or the day after or the day after that because it's not as if he doesn't have the money to go do this. He orders a pizza, chicken strips, and a super dark rich chocolate cake they give him two tubs of stuff one of which was advertised as coming with the cake and they give him a tub of something white and he thinks it's whipped cream on top of that it's sour cream ken you idiot and he doesn't care either because you know just send it out send it out and then get ready to, to do stealth camping and some other bullshit and he tries to cover up by going dude 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 as if he's 20 years old and from the valley, and as if, you know, 20 year old men from the valley watch him. Oh, dude, 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 what happened there, dude? And it's more like you, you blithering idiot, you can't even tell the difference between these items. It's not dude at all. That looked like part of the dessert. 
and it looked like when I looked at the pizza that they had the sour cream on the pizza already. Oh man, dude. So I'm gonna have to enjoy that later. You know what? Nope, let's do one more piece and we have to do it right. Gotta do it right, Domic. Come on, dude. Boston Pizza's watching right now saying, I can't believe he forgot the sour cream. Dude, Ken, that's not whipped cream. It's sour cream. And I'm guessing you would just squish it in like that. I'm guessing, but it's going to break. <laughs> yes, it tastes way better. Okay, let's do it this way. There we go. A nice dollop of sour cream where it's supposed to be. And remember, if you want to look like an idiot and you don't know what sour cream is after 55 and a half years, and you pretend to be a foodie on the internet, then buy Muskoka Bearware. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Going in for the extreme close-up. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's it. Focus. Focus. Oh, boy. Look at all those calories. All that yumminess. It's all nice and shiny. Oh, that is going to be wonderful. Let's do a quick lick of that. Look how thick that is. This is drizzling. It doesn't matter though, because Ken is just going to go on an extra long bike ride, or he's going to go on a really long walk and have a 10,000 steps thing, and that'll take care of it, right? I mean, that's the way it's been going for the past more than two years, and he's in great shape because of it. Or do you not believe that? It is chocolatey, people. All right, guys, as you can see, we are all done. Baby, 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 all. Baby, all. Baby, all. Done. There goes our first video of 2022. Like I said at the beginning, I have a lot of awesome new content. That is baloney, Ken. It's not awesome. It's lame. It's not new. You've already done it all before. And it doesn't even qualify as content because it is non-tent. Your food reviews are dishonest. You go to any big chain that has a chicken sandwich and you give it a go out and get it now. It's just not true, Ken. It is worthless. It, for, for anyone to sit through a food review from you, because we already know how it's going to end. Big chain, chicken sandwich, go out and get it now. Big chain, new burger, go out and get it now. 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 You're not going to change any of those things. What are you going to do? Promise us mukbangs? You, you, you saying what you just right, did right there was a mukbang? If you want to do mukbangs, you lazy dummy, then you're going to have to lay out all the food properly, and you're going to have to do it from the shack in the Elf Village, and shoot it with a proper camera, and don't do this wonky angle, plus running through a fisheye GoPro Hero sports camera action adventure sort of a thing, okay? Do it for real if you're going to do a mukbang, or stop saying you're going to be doing it. Stealth camping? You're pretending to do stealth camping. We've proven that like many times over. Regular camping? That's just sad, pathetic Ken with no family or friends to join him, trying to make French toast in the fucking forest and blowing it. Van life? That's you going to ugly strip malls in the Bradford area and eating shit and then pretending to go on a bike right after. Coming out for you. We're going to be doing mukbangs. We're going to be doing stealth camping, regular camping, van life type videos. So stay tuned to find out what's going to happen next. With Ken Domic's channel, this already has happened. There's nothing that's going to like, oh, find out what's going to happen next. It's over. His channel is over. He's just going through the motions. We are looking at what Ken Domic is promising is going to be happening next. He goes backwards. Remember when he took his rating system away because he thought it was too limiting? Then he just brought it right back again. And he got rid of these stupid, irritating wipes. They were really just a way to shove 
uh, the stolen trademarks into your face in his content as if he had a right to use them and make them more attractive. And now, he goes backwards and brings them back. There's nothing like, let's find out what's going to happen next. He's going backwards. What the hell is the point of this garbage? And of course, all my supporters over on Patreon, you guys rock. No, you do not. You guys suck. Because you cannot think for yourselves and you keep making the same mistake over and over. Spend your money on yourselves. This guy does not deserve your support. What do you get out of it? You, you get your name on, on his credits so tiny and up there for such a ti short time that nobody can even notice that you're there? You can't even see it yourselves. It's like, oh, well, where was my name? Oh, he moved it. Somebody either canceled or somebody joined. Where, where did my name go? It's gone. And you know who sucks the most? Ken Dominic. Hey, Ken, we know that you're going to watch this, so I got a message for you. Stop lying to people. Stop saying on your Patreon, I'm barely getting by. I'm barely getting by. Stop doing it. Stop lying. It's wrong. It's evil. There are people out there who are not too smart, and they read that you're barely getting by, barely getting by, barely getting by, barely getting by, and they believe what you have to say, and they help you because you've lied to them. Stop doing it. How about uh, start off for 2022 and stop the lies, Ken Dama. Could you do that, please, and thanks? British penis. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. White Canadian. The Japanese are horrible people. Tangy.